A professional motorcycle stunt rider from Sacramento is behind bars in Tijuana tonight, charged with evading arrest and possession of a handgun. CJ Barham has more than 50,000 followers on Instagram. CBS 8's David Gravitson talked to his mother, who was able to visit her son in Tijuana's La Mesa prison. CJ Barham is a professional stunt rider. He performs at shows doing donuts and wheelies on his custom Harley Davidson. But when he takes his show on the public roads, the stunts become illegal. And when he crossed the border last month into Mexico, his motorcycle riding turned into a police chase around Rosarito Beach. They were trying to knock CJ off of his bike with their trucks, their police trucks. And one succeeded in blocking him, and they jumped out and pulled the pistols on him, and he went off the embankment and crashed. CJ's mother, Susan Barham, does not approve of her son's stunt riding on public roads, but when she found out he was charged with possession of a handgun in Mexico, she knew he was being set up. That gun didn't surface until after CJ was taken into custody. There was no gun at the scene of the crime. He doesn't have guns or own guns or he's just a motorcycle rider. His father flew down immediately and took some cash with him and proceeded to try to pay a fine to get him out of jail. Possession of a handgun in Mexico is a federal offense so CJ was transferred to La Mesa prison in Tijuana. Two weeks ago, CJ's mom was able to visit him for four hours. He's scared. He's never gone through anything like this. Um, so he's already lost probably 10 or 15 pounds just in 20 days. Uh, they eat soup every day. Uh, they don't get a solid meal really. Well, what do you say to people that say, hey, you know, the moral of the story is don't ditch the cops down in Mexico? First of all, we'll never return to Mexico ever after this, um, you know. And secondly, he comes from a family that has law enforcement, so he has a, a respect for them. At the same time, he doesn't want to get in trouble. He may be a reckless motorcycle rider and a party boy, but he's not a criminal. He doesn't belong in a high-security prison. Now, the mother tells me the police were angry with her son because he had evaded arrest. Uh, she claims they then beat him up and planted a gun on him. Uh, we reached out to Rosarito Police. The department tells us that those allegations would be investigated by a separate agency that looks into police abuse. Uh, David, how much time is CJ facing if he's convicted on that possession of a handgun charge? Possession of any firearm in Mexico is a serious federal crime. One expert told me he could face up to four years in prison if convicted, but they have to prove the gun was his, and the mother claims her son's fingerprints were not found on the gun, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens in this case. We'll see what plays out in the legal process. David Gofferson reporting for us. Thanks, David.